Hey everybody, today I wanna to talk to you about the importance of community. Now, I am a lone wolf. I have been that way for years. And I just am one of those musicians that feels like, you know, whenever I collaborate or whatever, the other person doesn't share my vision. And so I just butt heads. And it's just really, really been one of those things. Uh, even in school, when I was a kid, if I could do a project by myself rather than have to do it with a team, I would choose to do it by myself. And it's just the way I've always been. However, um, it has come to my attention that this is a big issue for me. I really do need a community surrounding me and to help. Now, if you are like me and you're a musician, please hear me on this. This is so important. And whatever your specialty, whether it be music or not, find a community of like-minded people. You're not going to get along with them all the time, but you are going to find others to help lift you up. So that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a community where you're, you know, it's like a bad family and you're all dysfunctional and, <laughs> and you can't seem to get along. That's not what I'm talking about. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Now, first I want to take you back to where where I realized I needed a sense of community or I needed a community around me. This is about five years ago. And I was sitting in a cafe with a friend. Now this person had been helping me. They had been trying to get me out there. They, they had, you know, had me uh, for a few um, events that they had hosted and I was the solo artist and things like that. So when I said what I said to her, it was probably really frustrating to hear. So this is what I said to her, I'm so alone. Nobody's helping me. I feel like I'm a ship without a rudder, I, stuff like that. And, and it was like, for her, that's probably was very frustrating because, and she was very taken aback by what I had to say, but I couldn't help how I felt. I've always felt like I'm, I'm, I'm drowning and I can't find the surface, right? Now, once again, this was all my own doing. I did it to myself. But, but, um, since then I have, I have found that I, I seek a community. I need a community. So I started by trying to find that community within the church. So we, we moved to the Louisville area and I tried to start finding that within my church. Now, first of all, I don't know about some, some musicians or some groups of musicians, they are tight. They, they have a community and it is hard to get into. And sometimes, especially in churches, it can get like that because they're, you know, they, they have only so many people they can get on the worship team or whatever. And if you come in and you don't jive with them for whatever reason, you're just not, you're not going to get in. And that was my experience. It's, it's just, you know, we just didn't mesh. They're not my tribe. That's fine. And, and you know, you may want to get into a certain community and, and they're just, the gates are barred. That's fine. Your tribe is still out there. Okay. You just need to find it. So, uh, recently this last Sunday, um, I went and played with the gypsy jazz jam. Now I have been with the gypsy jazz jam for over a year now, and they are the most welcoming, most supportive community I have been a part of as far as being a musician and a, and a vocalist. <clears throat> but here's the thing, right? The very first time Chris, uh, one of the guitar players, he's like, you sing, you want to sing with us? Okay. We'll get you up here. He's the sweetest, most amazing guy. And, um, and also Jane, uh, holiday. She, she is just an amazing violinist. They were all very welcoming. So, I get up there, I sing, you know, whatever. And then I'm just like, I just love, uh, you know, gypsy jazz. Um, I want to learn how to play the violin from day one. They've been very supportive in helping me gain, you know, momentum learning violin. And this last Sunday I actually brought my violin and I played. Now they egged me into doing a solo. This was one of the most packed nights for gypsy jazz, huge crowd. And I was so, I mean, when I sing, I don't have any butterflies in my stomach, nothing. This is what I do best. And so I'm just like, I'm here. Ta -da. 
but playing the violin <laughs> no <laughs> just no so uh they keep they keep trying to get me and if you know anything about jams usually what happens is, is everybody takes a turn in a solo unless you pass and then they just keep going around and then the song's done and you go on to the next but they kept egging me so you know there are tons of people in this audience and i'm just like no this is going to be so bad i start to play the solo because they you know got me to do it so i'm playing my solo and i relax and i start getting into it now this is not a virtuoso performance let me tell you there were mistakes there were problems i'm not there i'm sure there was tension and everything else and as you know if you play an instrument tension is your enemy so I got done with the solo and I, whew, I'm done. The eruption of applause and, and cat, you know, just hooping and hollering and all this other stuff. That's community. It was not a perfect solo. It was not the best solo, but the encouragement and the support meant everything to me. That's my tribe right there. I found them, right? So I'm encouraging you today, find your tribe. And if you can't find them, you build them. And you start being that support for others. Now, I have not always been that support. And I am so grateful for people like Jane Holiday and, and Chris I'm going to slaughter your last name, Fargan, Fagan, Fagan, I think it is, um, who are so inviting, so inviting that, that not only did they let me play that solo, but then I was in, invited to a private jam session that Friday. I was not the best player there. I was the worst. And I was still invited back for the next jam the following Friday. That's community. That's what you need to be. That's how we help each other build and grow and get there. And, and if I ever get there all the way to the tippity top, I am taking Chris with me. I am taking Jane with me. I am taking whoever is in my tribe with me because that's what you do. You don't leave them behind. You bring them with. I'm so grateful. I don't know if you can tell I'm a little teary up right now because I'm just so grateful for all that they have um, been and supported for me. So thank you to the people in uh, the Louisville Gypsy Jam, Jazz Jam, sorry. It's an amazing thing. I hope to continue to keep posting content. If you like this, please, you know, let me know. Um, any comments that you want to give and any, uh, you know, comments that would help others find their tribe, please post them. Let people know, hey, this is how I did it. This is how I did it. Here's where you can find these kind of people. Like, let's say you're into, I don't know, uh, marketing. If you're into marketing, let them know where, where is a good place to find other people that are in marketing, where you can share ideas, where you can do stuff. This is how we help each other. This is how we grow. And this is how we get better. Thank you guys so much. God bless.